we here. It's us being dumb. Second episode of the Coach's Lounge. Our disgraced champion. Is back. You know, it's it's like... I, I know I lost and it sucks. I think my reactions on stream were funny, but, like, I deserve to lose the first game. Like, I can't just sit here and be like, oh, like... I was trying to put on a show, and then I totally got lost in sauce, you know. That's what happens when people try to be funny, or try to be too much. Well, the first game was bad, but the last, next two games, I mean, I won the second one, and the third one, I mean, it was right there, and obviously you guys watched it, most of you, so I don't need to relive those moments of flinching and critting and all this nonsense, but we're here now for week two. And we've had another battle underway, so we have two people that have done two battles and two people that have done none, but that's all right. We're going to have another battle tonight, hopefully, so. Hopefully, we, yeah, we can catch up week one. Catch up with week one at night. Me and Xavier, he going to get this work. He going to get this work. He going to get this work. I mean, it's funny because, like, you could probably just tell us what you're bringing and then, like, he won't hear it. But maybe I don't. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. Uh, yeah, we could do that. Um, so I plan on bringing Cooper Raja, the agent. Yes, the agent. Um, Cooper Raja, Alolan Executor, Lucario, Dragapult, and uh, G Max Charizard. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Know, so. Yeah, that's where my head's at right now. Um, I know he's going to bring the trick room, so I'm just going to try to reverse the trick room. So I think I might lead You're not game one. Hmm? You bringing Azumarill? 100%. Okay. That's got a, That's the sixth Pokemon. Yeah, that's Sorry, I thought I said that. I yeah, right. Executor, Lucar Executor, Lucario, Kuparaja, Dragapult, Charizard, Azumarill. Sounds like a squad. I don't really know how Xavier can beat the Steel. Like, he is really weak to it. His team is really weak to Steel. That's what I'm saying, man. Just gonna have to get in there. Absolutely. And Ballone! The, <laughs> he's Blastoise. Oh, that was bad. But I liked it at the same time. Ooh, I just Listen, watched what's happening in Mitch's battle. He got a nice heat wave off. I wish I wish I knew how to rewind while like streaming on OBS, but it it looked pretty good, honestly. I don't know. The, yeah, the fans a, will be able to see the battle. At least I hope this is working, or else I'll be sad. Share the screen. Well, it's like the media source, so I'm just like uh, playing okay. it, and then once the battle is done, then I'm just gonna switch over the window, and then we'll just keep going from there. Like so, we for sure, for sure, and stuff. But. Yeah, we have a hefty, hefty week two slate on our hands. We got, let's see what we got here. We got Fuku and me, which has been deemed game, game of the, of the week. week. Not by me. I didn't de deem it game of the week. The fans. You have to get over that. You have okay. to get over that. The committee spoke. It was two to one. You were game of the week. You know, I'm sorry. Honestly, like I'm pretty, I mean, I'm not going to go into detail on our battle. But I am, I'm more confident in this one than I am with Benny's battle, just because, I don't know how to say it, but, like, I feel like my team, like, I know what I did wrong last week, and I know how to fix it. Like, I, I built last week's team was kind of niche. Like, I did some stuff that didn't work, like the air balloon didn't work. Well, it worked in third game, but, like, I can't just be doing stuff like that that's just, like... Like he the, didn't even know you had the air balloon, yeah, I feel like. Yeah, and when I used Ember, and I realized I used Ember, and then I then he brought out the sand, it didn't matter. So that was just a big mistake on my part, and just got me body. That's why I lost 4-0. I mean, yeah, I missed the sleep powder that would have made it like a 3-0 if I didn't miss it. But No, I feel like I watched it. That sleep powder would have changed the game, actually. Well, I missed 2. I'm 0-2 for two on the season with sleep powder. So, so it happens when you try to run gimmicks. Gimmicks, sleep powder is a status, but that ain't a gimmick. It's not a gimmick. It's a gimmick. I think anything that's not dealing damage is a gimmick move. Wow. Ally switch. Ally switch. 
gimmicks. Gimmicks, gimmicks are things that don't always work. And follow, they're follow me. Follow, follow me. Follow me. Gimmick. Follow me. Gimmick. Is a support move. Oh. Gimmick. That should be like the next week's topic of discussion. What gimmick. Is gimmick and what's not? Because Blake is a gimmicky batter. No. Trick room. Gimmick. That's not a gimmick if it's part of the meta. Toxic. Meta. Gimmick. <laughs> meta gimmick. Toxic and VGC. I wish that worked better. I just use it on Mitch all the time. Nice. What do you mean? They broke it. They literally said, oh yeah, it doesn't work in VGC. That's fine. We'll give you Dynamax Pokemon that make both Pokemon uh, paralyzed or sleep or poisoned. Like what? Yeah. Poisoning is not even a good status anymore because Toxic is so much better than just regular poison. Oh, yeah, well, because Toxic is a like badly poisoned and i think uh realistically poison should lower special attack stats by two and then take oh. out the toxic part about being badly poisoned so if you took out toxic damage like you know going over time and then make poison for special attackers but then again i don't think you could beat balls that way. like in singles so i don't think they would do that what do you mean like if burn like if poison worked how burn works that would be kind of clutch, but if you take out the toxic, like, because if it's a regular poison, it's just, like, one-eighth or one-sixteenth or one-twelfth, whatever the damage number is per turn, but if you get badly to poisoned, it obviously adds up. So if you took out the toxic mechanic of badly poison and then just made all poison, like, six, what are the same as burn, but instead of lowering attack, it lowers special attack. I think, I think that would be actually interesting. But that has nothing to do with VGC or the coach's lounge. That's just a take. Well, yeah, but that is the coach's lounge. Yeah. Hot takes. I mean, tell me um, I'm wrong. It doesn't sound like that, like, you know, weird. I don't know. No, it doesn't sound that weird at all. I just, I just think that the fact that it does more damage, depending on how you get poisoned, is enough. But I could definitely see a more competitive... Uh, right. Yeah, I'll I mean, look I on it if it did more. Style, like taking out Pokemon like that are balls, like uh, I mean, dust box or some shit. And, like, yeah. Problem is, Clefable has magic guard, so I can't even use that as a major example. But... No, I I mean I know what you mean though. I I think it's cool that all of the status uh, things besides going to sleep do something to your Pokemon else. Like if you're paralyzed, you're slower. If you're uh, burned your attacks low so if poison wire to lower your special attack that would be pretty sweet it would fall in line so i definitely see where you're going with that yeah, that makes a lot of sense poison type of, i th feel like it would make poison a lot better because like if you look at gen 7 singles every pokemon can learn toxic you know now, obviously toxic's not that well it's not readily available anymore for most ones, which is clutch yeah i love that yeah i like that too it makes it more like fresh and it makes like stall to sway worse but I feel like they need another status besides freeze because freeze is terrible. Freeze is like the worst because it's unpredictable, and you could freeze, you could thaw on the same turn, but at the same time you could be frozen for like eight turns, and that's all. You well, know. Unless you I think or get hit by a fire type. Move. I was interested to say I think it should be automatically if you get hit by a fire type move when you're frozen, you're unfrozen the next turn. Or actually, it would have to be immediately, because Sword and Shield uh, speed updates on turns, so it would have to be immediately. But I truly think, because like, that would make it more interesting or more fun if you're like in a VGC battle and one Mon gets frozen and you have Flamethrower on the other, you hit your Mon with a Flamethrower, unfreeze them, and, you know, Dragon Darts or something into both. Oh, right. That would be pretty sweet, you know what I mean? They, what if they made if they made a new status? What do you think it would be? Hmm. Cause I'm like, I, just I think confused know. should be a status where it like pops up and like it it does so, more. Like I, I think you should. I think confused oh, should be I like more. That. I like that. Like instead of just being like a subtext, like it would pop up on the screen as confused, and then you couldn't get another status stack. Yeah, because like being confused be like and being paralyzed. 
Yeah. Is, no. Yeah. Yeah, because you know, like, if you're paralyzed and you're uh, confused, or if you're burned and confused, or if you're uh, poisoned and confused, like, you're literally just shooting yourself in the foot, playing Russian roulette. Like, all right, this is either gonna shoot me in the foot or I'm gonna shoot somebody. But and and your attack is already lowered. You know what I mean? Or not your attack. Your uh, was it your accuracy? Confusion yeah. lowers. So I think I think confusion oh, wait, no, should be. Is not affected by confusion. I don't think so. I'm looking it up right now. Yeah, no, but that would be, um, that'd be actually a good idea. Because yeah, I think it should do that. Confusion do. I mean, confusion is based on your attack stat though, which kind of like you know like takes out some of the fun in the. It's not fun, but it's like that's how they get their damage output. So being confused on a attacking mod would be way more important. But also, it would be helpful because that means you can't get burned or something else on top of it. Yeah, which would be perfect. Like that balances that out. Yeah. Because it's already doing ten percent. But I also think that if they were to do that, they would make confusion like more like relevant. You know, I don't think they would add like, like swagger, like a move like a swagger wouldn't exist any, anymore. Well, no, yeah, you'd have to obviously. No, why wouldn't it? Toxic is the move. Yeah, I feel like if they kept. You know what I mean? Like yeah. toxic does that, thunder wave. It would just be just like that. That's true. They would make they, if they did that. They would have to make confusion, but then that just brings in more luck variables, where it's like. I mean, Confusion used to hit one out of every two times, but now I think it's one in four. I think they did yeah, something like that. Paralysis. That's how they fixed Paralysis, even though... And they did that with the speed, too. They made it less like, met less slow and less likely to be fully parried. I think para is just like, I'm just watching this Paralysis on Mitch's loop right now. And I feel like Paralysis is like... To me, it's the most annoying status, because you can completely not move. But... Anyways, let's see what else we got going on for the week. Let's see. I mean, if we want to talk about last week for a little bit, we can do that. What what results? I definitely think we could recap it. Most? Um, I would either say you're probably gonna Justin Justin getting two would He got two one. It was two one. The sheet says two o. Really? That's wrong. They hit the group chat saying two o. Really? Nah, it was mm -hmm. 2-1. Really? Mm -mm. Noah told me 2-0. Justin told me 2-0. Uh, maybe I'm stupid. Keep um... Going. And then you. You getting 2-1 the way you did. Wow. Yeah, that was... I, I mean... Like, the last I was... I'm not saying anything. There's nothing... Uh, wrong with anybody who won or i don't have anything right. against anybody who won i was just like off expectations and then like watching you play i was like wow dom is just choking this game well you think i choked the first game or all of them uh definitely the first one yeah the first this game three i feel like you just got bad luck yeah but the first one you choked the second one i felt is even though i was down and i was a little scared i think everyone else was scared when i predicted that ally switch i took the game back no, he won. He won. The Nobody game. was scared. I was scared. I didn't say you guys were scared. He, he said, "Good game to the New Orleans Pelicans to send to Scorch win the series 0-1, 2-0, 3-0." Bro, Maybe. Noah definitely told me 2-0. That's something that I need to actually find out. Why does the sheet say two? Let me text him. I mean, it's whatever at this point. Well, it's it's a little important because of the differential. Oh, that's right. We do keep track of that. I forgot. Yeah. I mean, just change it to 2-1. I changed it. I, well, that's what it says in the standings. I don't know who said it was 2-0. We'll figure it out. We'll keep it moving. So you thought the... So I thought that the most surprising one... I think it was... Yeah, someone messed it up because someone said Josh won a game. Josh did not win a game. So I think those two got reversed somehow. Oh, okay. For sure. I could have sworn no it texted me 2-0. Yeah. I think the most... But who did you say? Who did you say was the most... The most surprising uh, result was... I think even though Nova was... 
he really played well. I think it was Noah and Josh. Like, to me, Noah just completely, like, by far that was the most dominating win I saw. Even after watching Brian's match versus Mitch, I thought the way that Noah just played Josh, he played Josh like a fiddle. Like, every move that Noah Like made, a fiddle. Every move that Noah made, it didn't look like Josh had it. I don't think Josh had enough off the firepower in the two games, and I just feel like the way Noah played him was just, it was poetic almost. I thought it was just a complete domination. So, you think Noah poetically dominating Josh? It was the most surprising result, because I expected Josh's team, and I know they battled a little bit after, and Josh got some battles off then, but that didn't count. You know, that, like, I'm not, I think that's, like, good for Josh practicing and realize that his team wasn't as bad as the performance that it put out when it counted. Because I do and think. And you that, are disrespectful. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, like Josh, I know. Like, like, Josh, like, won some battles after they stopped battling. And I saw, like, some of those, but they were still streaming on Twitch. But, like, when it came to it, like, when the battles first started, that team got bopped by Noah's team. There's no way around that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Like, he didn't get a kill. Because the, the Marowak died to recoil. So that's, that, at least for me, that's the most surprising result. Because that was just... It was something different, man. Noah had it. Noah had his bag open. And he was handing out gifts to Josh. Of kills and L's. That was terrible, I'm sorry. That might have been worse than your ball and lay a line earlier. How is that worse? I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not buying that. <laughs> I'm not buying that. But I told you. If we were recapping last week, I told you that Brian would dominate Mitch, and I was right. Even though that second game was closer than expected, Brian didn't get off his strat, and Mitch is still lucky. He's still a lucky guy. So he pulled out that second game much closer, but. I don't know, man. That first 4-0 was dirty. And, if, and and I do think, though, a little bit of luck was involved because if Gardevoir did trace Slush Rush as opposed to Snow Warning, that match might have been a little different. All right, so why don't we go over who Mitch and Brian brought Yeah, we, in their battle? I mean, I can try to play the video at the same time, but... I mean, you could... If you have it, you could play it. Uh, That's fine. I think um, Mitch's battle just ended it so really well. Yeah, I uh, I gave Mitch some pointers for After, his team. Well, his battle against Adams was pretty good. No, I was uh, for the Brian. I was like, Mitch could shock the league right now and go get a win. And shock the league. He could have been our Kevin Garnett. And it didn't happen. Anything's impossible. Yeah, I mean, I think that like. Mitch played well, and I think he's played much better in these last two weeks than he ever has. I'll say that right now. Like, I think Mitch, like, especially against Brian, like, it looked like he had a semblance of a strategy rather than just going out there and hitting. I'm trying to tell you. He asked me uh, just, like, a couple moves that I could just bounce an ideas off me. I'm trying to tell you. Mitch was ready. He was ready. His weather, I, he loves that Torkoal. I thought he would trade it, and I thought he would never use it, but he's using it. And I don't know. Because that Torkoal's a beast, bro. Like, he has a really good setup, and I don't want to get into it and no. put out his, uh, but I'm sure we'll see it. But he has um, a really good one two count punch with the weather, with the Torkoal that I didn't see. That, like, now that, like, I'm, like, seeing, like, he's sitting there, we're talking about his team bouncing ideas back and forth i'm like whoa yeah his this is dangerous really he drafted a strong dangerous team. he drafted yeah. a strong team on his own that is the most important part i'm, I'm y'all gotta to, chill on mitch I on his see, own who's he got next week hang on we can predict uh, i think i have an idea we'll predict week two he's got blake we'll predict week two and then we will predict adam and mitch's matches because they're a week a week ahead so we'll just throw them in that's fine we could do that but man, we I, could do that. If we're looking at last week, the last bat battle I want to touch on, I think, I think Fuku, like, 
I'm pretty sure Fuku and Jacob had like two very close matches. I think they were both. I think one of them was a one zero, and the other one was a two zero. Yeah. But I wish like someone had video of those because those are ones. Well, not just for me wanting to scout, but those two like that just seemed like a good matchup. Something I really wanted to see. And I know Duraladon put in work. I know it got five kills. I just want to see what Fuku one of his games, just so I could see how he's using this team. Because I'm trying to tell you, when he hit the group chat and talked about, yeah, I won. I was like, whoa. Not because like I don't think his team, he's good. as He's a good player. I was just like, that team, I have to see how you're using it. Like It's just intriguing to me. I think it matches like, up just really intriguing. well against Justin, uh, Jacob's team. Because Jacob's got a bunch of water types. And he's got a couple like rock types and dragon types. And Fuku's team is full of grass types and fairy types. So I think like the matchup was definitely in Fuku's favor, and that's why I predicted Fuku last week. Not to toot my own horn, but I feel like that was like a really good matchup. And then Duraludon, like Duraludon's a problem for Primarina, it's a problem for Gudra, it's a problem for Gigalith and Talion. I don't know. I don't know. The one thing I don't know is how Fuku got rid of the champ because I do know that Jacob. Bro, I'm it. sitting here looking at it. How did he beat Primarina? Probably like Whimsicott or something like that. Or Togekiss or something. Bro. Or Duraludon. I mean, Duraludon gets Thunderbolt. That's like the only thing. So you're telling me, you're telling me Fuku carried Thunderbolt. He had to. That's a common move on Duraludon. That's a a common move. As soon as we finish this, I'm asking him. I just want you to know that. But we can carry on. I look at Picolytics right now. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Live. I'm going to. Thunderbolt on Duraludon is used 77% of the time. All right. <laughs> so. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I haven't had to, I haven't had to uh, prepare for Fuku yet, so I wouldn't know. Wow. Yeah, no. Mm-hmm. I had a Duraludon on my Champions Cup team. So, but people are using it now. Instead of Timid, they're using Modest for like weakness policy. And like hopefully yeah. getting like a sta- tailwind up, and then it like counters Togekiss completely. Duraludon is the biggest Togekiss counter, and the fact that Fuku has it on his team is great for him because of stalwart. That is my biggest fear. I think my biggest fear is Duraludon going into my matchup because I don't like I have. He's about answers. to work you. No, I have answers for Duraludon, but it's like if he can set it up properly, then it's still such a strong Pokemon. Um, Fuku. No one and I were doing some test runs, so I don't want to get into it. But I think I think it'll be a good match. You can talk more on it because it's my battle, and I don't want to. I'm cool. not give, I'm not are giving, we? I'm not. Are we talking stuff. about? We can go week are, two. Are, are, are we? Are we going to week two? Are we still? Are we going to keep talking about week one? We, Recapture that. I think we can talk about. Do we recap it? Like, who else do we have to talk about in week two? Week one, I mean. I think Mitch and Brian. Uh, we have game of the week. We're gonna play. I wish. I mean, uh, I know we Blake talked and about Noah and Josh. Last time we talked about Blake and Adam last time. Mm. And we just played Mitch and Adam's battle live. And then I think mostly everyone has watched it. Well, I don't know if everyone's watching the battles. I'm assuming. If the battles get posted by somebody, they're being watched. I know you're watching them. I know I watch them. I don't know it being a chat. Yeah. I think people, like, if they don't watch the whole thing, they get, like, the gist of it. Yeah. But. I mean, we'll put some videos up on the page, yeah. too. I think that uh, tonight's battle, though, I want that to be streamed by you, if you can do it. Hey, no, nah, I will. I will. Good. I will. I will. I will have that video. I will have that streamed. I will have it being recorded. So I'll have it on live. Like, That's yeah. Cool. I'm gonna make sure the people see this. I think it's gonna be a good match. I don't. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna upload the video until later tonight. So I know that. I don't think Xavier listened to the last one, but if he does, I don't want him to hear your entire team. So I can hold. I mean. Uploading. I, I truly don't. It doesn't matter to me okay. because my thing is like you're bringing. He the knows six I'm. He, yeah, like he whatever six the six I'm I decided to bring. 
I was bringing them whether he knew or not. You know what I mean? Like, not even trying to be like on like some cocky stuff either. Like, literally, just like this is the six I determined. If he would have asked me, I would have told him. Just because I'm like, all right, cool. Like, right. I just got an idea, and I think we can start doing this now. We can do a uh, a game of the week, like you know how they do it, like for football. Like if you watch the pregame show, like say like Jimmy Johnson, like they pr- they pick like four games, and then. Yeah they get like how many whatever them right and they have like a record okay we, we could do, do that. that we could do that so i'm actually just gonna write it right here all right in the we could definitely get that going i think that's a good idea and we won't yeah. predict we can predict we can swap your game tonight with adam and mitch's game for the predictions for the game for the games and then we can just go from so, there. this sounds like the pick em. okay pick em. I like it. I don't know it. what this is, but I'll just make this cell color. What do you think? Let's just make it yellow. No one else, no one's gonna know what this means. All, All right. right, so week two. All right. Oh, I mean my game's up first on the schedule. So who you got? All right, so who do you think's gonna win? You predict this first. I'm gonna I will predict thing. my match. I will predict who I think will win my match. But I won't go in depth with my analysis because it's my match. So I think I like Fuku here. Okay. And hear me out why. All right. I don't think you know what you're going to do with the Duraladon. I do. I do a little bit. I, I don't know because he's got way too many Prankster users. Way too many ways to just set up real quick in your face, and you have no idea what to do. I got answers to it. And I trust the Galade. I don't know why. I just trust it. Yeah, when we were scouting Noah and I, he, he pulled up Galade on one of the practice teams, and I I was not, I forgot about it having justified. And now he has Wimscott. So I am I am leery of that now. So that is something that if I, I still might change my team. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like he, but I might change it because of that. Because I don't. That tailwind, that tailwind justified. He's okoing everything. He gets a tailwind beat up, up, beat up off. Pause. He's okoing everything. Hold up. How fast is it, bro? It don't matter with a tailwind. Yeah, but then he can't. He has to. He has to get. He he has two turns to set that up, bro. If he sashes his, I'm not even trying to throw his whole schedule off or anything, no, but I'm just saying, if he sashes the Whimsicott, right. beat up, beat up goes off, you break the sash, Tailwind, boom. Delayed has 80 speed. So what does Tailwind do? 1.5? Two, it's doubled. Oh, so this one's, sorry. <laughs> sorry, our champ's down 0-2. No, no way! You're tripping, dog. You're tripping. You're tripping. I, I'm not gonna do this on call because I have a calc that I will need to run. But and I'm just saying, we can go to the next game. That's no, fine. That's I'm just like I, I, I think I'm, I'm just I'm you just gonna know. say I think I'm gonna win. That's all. I, I like your confidence, Chief. I, last week I was a little like leery about my prediction. I think you remember I was in the call. I'm like, I don't know. I think Benny's team is kind of good, and I lost this time. I think I'm gonna win. I think that. Well, oh, you're you were doing that because you were trying to be humble, not because you were. Well, if, I, if there's a time not to be humble, it's. It's now. Week. You're our well, champion, week, and you lost in the first week. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Last week, I should have been this asshole guy that I'm doing right now, but now I should be the humble. Like I don't know, but no. Well, this, and this is this is what I'm saying. You got. Sm- I think it's smacked. I got smacked in the first game. Came out I looking came out, soft. I came out. I came out frail. That's like if the Chiefs came frail. out one and like lost to like the Panthers or down. I'm not gonna lie to you, Dom. Watching the first watch, watching the first game, I was like, man, is he really our champion? That was just fighting words. I'm just playing town. You know, I'm just joking around. All right, what's this predict the next one? Because that that was bold. We got Justin that- and Noah. Baker. 
I also helped him with this. We didn't know what we're scouting about this. I'm not going to lie to you. I got to take Justin. Oh, my God. Okay. Why? Why? Go ahead. Tell me why. Actually, I don't know. Durant's kind of strong here. If just if Noah can get rid of Talent Flame, easy like early. He's shit. Hey, this is a tough one. I think so too. If you if I'm looking at the rosters right right now, so am I. Yeah, I'll show them up for everybody. If we look at Noah's first, I mean, Amoongus is a great Rillaboom counter. And so is Alone in Marowak. Blah. Alone in Marowak if he gets up Tailwind. Not Tailwind, Trick Room. I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what I don't know what Justin will bring. I have an idea of what Noah will bring. I'm not going to say that on call. But I do think, for me, I think that Noah's going to pull it out. You got Noah? I do. I think the comp against. Justin's team with that trick room like in the back that possibility of trick room and that possibility of just like tanking it out like Reuniclus and Slowbro they're they have it they have they function well with the psychic terrain crap and then Amoongus is a fantastic counter for Rillaboom so is Durant and so is Marowak so I think that just like matching up and I think Lapras is decent in the matchup as well I just think, like, matching up, Noah has the advantage. The one Pokemon, I that, can, feel the you. One Pokemon that can change it is if Noah doesn't bring Trick Room and he puts up a Tailwind with Talonflame. That might be, like, the, oh, wait, this might change the game because if they do have, like, Tail, Talonflame and Raichu, if he brings Lightning Rod, Marowak, it might be an issue, but, like, those Pokemon can deal with some of the Pokemon on Noah's team. So it depends. I think Justin will lose, though, because last week he had four Pokemon. And I don't know. I think you think that I'll have a full team this week? Uh, Yeah, I do. Okay. All right. So you got Justin still, though? You're going to lock that in? 100%. All right. Riding that. Okay. I have to. Like, I think when it comes down to it, there's just too much. <laughs> the Tailwind alone in Raichu, I feel like, is going to be really dangerous. Right. Like, no matter what. And, and then you look across. Terrain or something. You feel me? Like, yeah. the. Like, I just see Rillaboom coming in here going crazy. But the Alolan Marowak, he's going to have to deal with. And that's going to be a problem. Right. Yeah, I think it's going to... I think it's a closer match than we think. I, I, I would I, say no in a 2-1. I definitely think whoever wins, wins 2-1. And I think it's like 1-0, game 1, 2-0. One oh, you know what I mean? Like yeah, it's close real game. close. I don't, I don't see anybody getting swept here. Right. Mm, yeah, no, I don't see a, I don't see a sweep there. Not that game. All right. But I definitely got no uh, Justin over Noah. Okay. I see Fuku's in the document right now. I should say, hey Fuku. <laughs> no. Uh, he's probably looking at my team right now. Damn it. <sighs> Anyways, uh, Benny. What do you mean? Damn it! He's allowed to do that. Yeah, I know. That means he's prepping, though. That's Good, he should. Yeah. All right. Now we got Benny versus Blake. Two, one person overachieving expectations. I'm not calling. I'm not saying Benny's like an overachiever. He's just a newcomer, and he played the champion and beat him in the first match. So obviously, he's overachieving the expectations that we had. We have that versus an on. I'll say Blake's first matchup was. Him and Josh, they came out, I thought I came out flat until I saw their performances. That was flat. That was like that was like two month old like Fago or something, bro. That was weak. That was two month old <laughs> what? Fago. Do you not know what Fago is? What is Fago? Oh dude, Fago is like uh it's a Michigan pop. I'm surprised oh, I have any okay. in Ohio. 
You never heard. I'll, I'll show you after. Fago slaps. Wait, is it like F U E G O? No, it's F A Y G O. Fago. Oh, I've seen that before. Yeah, the red pop slaps. It's like a, it's like a strawberry flavored pop. Ooh, okay. I used to not okay. like it when I was younger, but like now I like really like it. And they have like a really good rock and rye flavor. That's like their most popular flavor besides like grape and orange. Because that rock okay. and rye is nuts. But anyways, I do think they both came out like really like I think Blake got one kill and Josh didn't even get a kill. I'm not allowed to talk about Josh, but so You mean Benny or Blake? I gotta talk about Blake, but I'm also comparing it to Josh's oh, okay. matchup. But who do you got in this one? Because I, I don't know how Blake's going to rebound, you know. I think I think this is where we see the Mr. Rhyme go crazy. They're, they're not playing. It's Benny versus Blake. Oh, this is Benny Blake. Okay, my bad, my bad. Um, I'm looking at it, and it's... I truly like Blake this game. Yeah. I do... It's hard to compare. Actually, like not right no, I don't. Other. I do not like Blake this week. Oh, I, I oh god, it's tough. This is actually I because I feel the like this matchup we've seen like to predict I, all season. I, yeah, I because I feel like Blake's two heaviest hitters outside of Trick Room, Gyarados and Dermanitan. Mudsdale. Outside of Trick Room, like you would need to set up Trick Room for that. I, Mudsd- Blake uses Mudsdale very well. If, if yeah, I looked at, but like, if I looked at, he's, he didn't set up Trick Room with it a lot last year. Benny has counters for the two biggest threats, like offensive threats on Blake's team. What's the counter for Mudsdale? Gastrodon? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I don't think it puts up enough damage to counter. Mudsdale. It does. It takes enough damage. Is the is the thing though. I, it can take. Gastron's tanky. I think the X factor in the matchup is definitely Rotom Heat because of Levitate. So he can avoid the super effective hits from Mudsdale in like status hit with the Will O Wisp and just completely like put the game on the other end. He just has to hit the Will O Wisp. You know what? I'll, I'll take Benny in this matchup then because I think that's the X factor. Because Rotom Heat walls Gyarados. It can stop Mudsdale with a combination of Gastrodon, like you were saying. And if he tried to use a Water-type move as he's on the field with Gastrodon, it's going to get sucked up by Storm Drain. All he needs is, like, two Rock Slides to hit. That and what I just said, the Storm Drain stuff. Rock Slides for what? Bikevolt? Darn? The Gyarados. Oh, and Gyarados. Yeah. But that's the only thing he fears. And I still think that Rotom heats walls it with Gastrodon. So yeah, I think it. I think it is Benny's matchup to lose, but I could definitely see Blake just coming out and stopping it too. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Hydrogen. I mean, how good is Hydragon here? But not that good. It's good against Age Slash, I guess. And I think it can poke holes in like his team. If Benny builds like a more uh, physical team. Then I think Hydreigon can come in and like do a lot of damage. Yeah. But I don't know. Like not deciding to G Max Alchemy is also kind of silly, but I don't know. I think Ben I don't know why he didn't pick Alchemy Al Creamy. To G Max. Yeah. G Max. But I mean I guess I understood because he kept I still don't know why Blake kept G Max Hatterine. He didn't. Yes, he did. Blake didn't. Xavier did. Blake's oh. team is Gyarados, Mudsdale. Bro, Alchemy. why do I keep mixing the two t- those two teams up? That's fine. G-Max had a problem. That's They're not even really than, next to each other. Yeah, it's way better than Butterfree, in my opinion. I don't know where you keep coming up with that. Butterfree. I get the status part of Butterfree, but I still think that Hatterene's damage output is so heavy. So. Um, I feel that. I'm not afraid of it. So who do you I'm think? not I- afraid. I think I got. I think I got Benny. Who you got? I told you I got Ben. Damn, Blake's gonna. I said that. Pissed. I said that when you started your silo, yeah, your little soliloquy. 
My bad. No more. Bro, I, no, 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 you're, you're good. Too. I was just saying, like, when you started, I was letting you know, hey, yeah. I'm taking Ben. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, He's a problem, bro. Yeah, that team, that team has it. Mudsdale has an issue against that team. But if Blake comes out and totally, like, makes us eat crow, then I'm fine. Why is that a phrase? I don't know why. Eat crow. Have you heard that before? No. Let me look it up, honestly. But let's go to Josh and Xavier. Who you got on that one? Oh, no. I don't know. Um, Josh and Xavier. Uh... Eating crow is a colloquial idiom. Used in some English speaking countries that means humiliation by admitting having been proved wrong proven wrong after taking a strong position. The exact origin of the idiom is unknown, but it probably began with an American story published around eighteen fifty about a dim witted New York farmer. Wow, okay. I'm pulling out all the old phrases. Anyways, who you got against Josh and Xavier? Quick little shield division matchup. Uh, I think I'm gonna go Xavier. Again, in the cousin matchup, the first cousin matchup of the year. The first cousin brawl. I think I got. I haven't seen Xavier battle. And what I saw yeah. Josh is battling. I played against him in that tournament, and I saw him battle Noah out. In and out of official matches, and I think Josh is a good battler, and I know Xavier has been in the lab. But see, the both the premise is both of these teams are great in trick room. But whose team is better in trick room? I think Xavier's is better. Yeah, and I think he's gonna get to his trick room first, and like. He, I feel like his team can operate in trick room, operate out of trick room, and that's just because I've just been preparing for him for a week and a half now, two weeks. And I don't think Josh's team operates that well out of trick room. Maybe like Weezing and Bull Corona and Mister Ryan, but other than, and Rota Mo, but then other than that, like that team is slow. And is I, this the week where? Josh sauces on everybody with Mr. Rhyme. Or not everybody, Xavier. Did he draft Mr. Rhyme for the cousin brawl? I mean shit. Like what is Ice what does Mr. Rhyme do to Rhyperior? Nothing. I don't know, maybe. But like Ice Psychic is not a great typing. Especially against this team. No, it's not. The great greatest typing for this matchup, but it's it's a solid typing. I what you talking like, about, I Willis? Like, I'm still under the impression that Josh picked Mr. Ryan on accident too early. But I also get you and Noah's opinion where it's like we just picked that. He's known he only made three picks, so why would he pick it there? I get that perspective too. Yeah, I'm not hearing that he he didn't know what route it was. You can miss me with that. He knew what he was doing. So you got Xavier in this one too? I think I got him. I think it's going to be 2-1, but, yeah. Uh, oh? It's like, I want to say Xavier, Just that's just because like I've been prepping for his team, and after watching Josh battle, I know he knows what he's doing. I know Xavier knows what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I don't know where Xavier's that, motivation is at. That G, that G Weezing might be solid. Yeah, it might be really good in this matchup. I think it shuts down... Oh, Hatterene shuts down Weezing, and Weezing can shut down Hatterene. It just depends on who gets off what. Yeah. I think the X factor in this one is Volcarona. How so? Bug type? I don't know. If he brings Rhyperior, it might be a different story, but, like, the bug typing stops Hat. It stops... Well, I guess... Hatterene is neutral to bug, but like it stops NDD, fire, fucks up Darmanitan, and Parisian. I don't know. I mean, Porygon, and if he can get up a Quiver Dance somehow and then like stall around the Porygon Z. That's what I'm saying, bro. I got Josh. You got Josh now? Okay. I have Josh. Like, I'm just looking at their roster side by side. I'm like, yo, like, I can't see Josh losing. 
I can't see Josh losing four Pokemon before Xavier does. Okay. So, but gonna... like, I have it like two one. Okay, that's fair. I think I got. I think I got Xavier two one. But I get your Josh pick. So, if we're looking at week one for the Xavier Brandon battle because they have not battled yet, we'll pick that real quick. Who do you got in that? Myself. Okay. If no one's gonna bet on me, I'm always bet on me. I think I got you too. It's just like the type of thing where it's like you've been prepping for a long time, and I don't we I don't know how much Xavier has prepped at all. Yeah. So. I don't know where I don't know what his where his head's at. So. Yeah. Uh, I mean. And we got you again versus Brian. Hi. I just popped in and oh said, "What's up?" God, I saw you guys. No I saw you guys we were in here. We were just talking about you. Literally. Well, I, I heard that. Like it. Well, you want to Hello, Brian. What up? What up? You want to predict your own matchup against Brandon real quick? Uh, talk some, I talk predict some shit. It, talk some shit. Uh, six zero victory. Six zero. Six whoa. six. I, I'm gonna win six sets out of three. Got it. Whoa. There you go. All of He's them. In X all Games of them. Mode. All of them four O's. Wow. There you go. But He's honestly, no, I just popped in and said, hey, hope or, you guys are doing oh, all right. Okay. Hi, podcast. Okay, goodbye. Bye, Bye Brian. Wait, Brian, when do you want to play? Oh, shit. Let me ping him. Uh, that's all right. I'll, I'll get in contact <laughs> with him after. Uh, You can predict your own matchup now, too, though. I got me. Like, I t- like bro, I'm never <laughs> not going <laughs> to. I'm always going to bet on me. I promise you. I mean, I'll be realistic, though. I'm really worried. I think... Uh, if I'm being honest, I think I have a higher chance of losing to Brian than Xavier. Yeah, I think that and, too. And, but and I, I only think that because I like Okuparaja a week too early. I should I should have looked down the road and yeah, kept him. That thing is a problem against Brian's team, and you don't have like it, it just runs through Brian's team. Does Xavier know that? You, you put it in the you put it in the chat. Know, so if he doesn't know, it's his fault. That's that's all I'm gonna yeah. say. You put it in the chat. You said he has him because I made I made that move. Yeah, I'm looking down the road, so I made that move. Right. And for those of you who don't know, uh, I dropped Cooperaja for Espion after Fuku dropped Espion for Gallade. I thought it was Diggersby or Diggersby. Sorry, but it was he dropped. Yeah, but if, I, for if I'm looking at the batch, if I'm looking at the matchup, oh man, he's got three fairy types against your team. Woo! But you got to yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm scared. You should be. Ooh, but I think I think this one just completely comes down to speed control. That's the thing. Like if I could outspeed him all day, I'll be all right. Oh, I think I got to put, I think just based on the matchup, just a brief look, like if you look at Cinderace versus Dragapult and like Urshifu versus like Azumarill and Kingdra and like. I see why you wanted this to be game of the week now. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but like it just clicked in my head, like looking at me and Brian's roster side by side. I see where you're like, all right, that's got to be game of the week. Just based on the teams. I think it's yeah. a total, like, draw. Only two black guys in the league. Yeah, I see it. I think it's a draw. No, wait, what do you mean only two black guys? Noah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Sorry, he's gonna, Noah. He's going to lose his mind. I'm going to figure yeah. out the timestamp of that and just say, Noah, make sure you listen to this. <laughs> Noah, don't listen to that. <laughs> you know I love you. I don't. Oh, no. I know you're, I know, I know you're black. Um, Jesus, uh, but I think that it's a total draw on matchup, and I think it's just going to come down to prep. And I think I think you might beat him, but if Brian comes out like he did against Mitch, then it's totally up in the air. This is like the true version of pick'em. If there's a spread, Whoa. it would be like an even spread. The problem is like trying to prep for two people at once is it's, pretty hard. Yeah, like. Because like I'm still trying to like figure out what I'm doing for Xavier, right. because I don't know. You know what I mean? Like the longer we play out, the more I'm like, all right, he could do this. Like my head just starts to race whenever I get like the free time to think about the league. You know what I mean? So like I don't know. And then now I'm sitting here thinking, okay, well, what about Brian? And then I made the 
waiver move. And I'm like, all right, I'm prepping for Xavier with one team, and then I'm prepping for Brian with a whole different team. Granted, it's just one Pokemon, but that one Pokemon throws off the synergy, the mm -hmm. every, you know what I mean? Like how your team looks, your coverages, your weaknesses, everything. So it's uh, I'm like looking at four teams at yeah. once, well, trying I'm, to figure out. We'll let you know I picked you in this matchup, but it's very close. Nah, you soft. I'm I, just kidding. I picked you. I know, I know. I'm just teasing. All right. <clears throat> I think I think it ultimately will come down to like a battle between like Urshifu and Cinderace versus like Dragapult and like Kingdra and Sylveon. And I can promise you this. It's a heavyweight Pokemon. Like it's not going to come down to like some like bottom roster pick. It's going to come down oh. to like those top Pokemon offensive threats. Like as I, like, I, it's one of those battles. No, I feel you, and I can guarantee you this, Brian. If you're still listening, and when you hear this, I got some for your Urshifu. Okay. Little Ubisoft, I got some for that. All right. And then the last battle, we got Jacob and Noah Troyer. Oh, this is a rematch of the Shield Division Finals. Hmm. I think Jacob. I think Jacob has it just solely, solely based on matchup. Because like Jacob has a bunch of water types, and fighting types, and rock types, and Noah, his best Pokemon is Incineroar. His best Pokemon is Incineroar. Why do you guys say it like that, man? I like Incineroar. It's one of my favorites. But like, I mean, I guess he does have. Jellicent with water absorb, but I hope Jacob realizes that's a thing. Because if he doesn't, then he this might be an entirely different matchup. The reason why I'm taking Jacob over Noah Troyer is simply for the fact that Jacob has Pre Marina who can out Incineroar, he has Inteleon who can also out Incineroar, and then Seismic Toad who can out Incineroar, and then once he outs Incineroar, Scissor, Scizor can truly sweep. Yep. Sizz, like if he if he figures out like a got a, a solid Scizor line uh matchup uh set and gets like sets up a tailwind. Like if he like let's say he leads like Pre Marina Noivern, goes Noivern into a tailwind, and then Pre Marina. Dynamax, or you, I wouldn't even Dynamax Primarina. I mean, game one, you could probably Dynamax Primarina, Scald, or do whatever. Uh, Max Geyser, sorry. Uh, Max Geyser and Incineroar, and then bring out the Scizor, Dynamaxed under the Tailwind for the last three turns. <laughs> hey, that's going to be dangerous, bro. Yeah. Like, I, I truly think, I, I mean, I think I was talking about this the last podcast. I think Scizor has got the best typing. Like, he's literally immune. He's you minus say four to Scizor. fire. You say that it was Scizor all the time, but you never talk about it with Duran or Chavalier. Well, well, it's just because, like, it's just the same thing. Like, yeah. Duran, Excavalier, whatever. Like, the bug steel is the best typing. You're literally minus four to fire, and then everything else is either one or point five. Like, literally. And the things that are one are like, like bro, what? Bug steel is solid. And I think, yeah, I think you're right here. I mean, Noah's team, like what? Noivern outspeeds Haxorus. Uh, Noivern outspeeds his whole team. Yeah, I mean, Noivern outspeeds Noivern his whole team. Noivern literally team. outspeeds his whole team. Noah's only hope is if he gets up a trick room. But even then, Gigalith can win in trick room. I'd, 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 I'd pr I'm pretty sure Jacob is probably just going to have like a max speed Gigalith. But if he has a He no got speed, some for that. If he's got a no speed Gigalith, this is the time to bring it because it destroys Incineroar and Trick Room. It's a problem for Snorlax because Rock resists normal. I mean, it's going to annoy Dusclops. That's, I think Noah's best chance of winning is in Trick Room, but I still don't think it's a good matchup. Well, he's got to, I think Noah's going to have to get into Trick Room. He's going to have to settle in the Trick Room, and he's going to have to know what he's doing when he's in there because if. If Jacob brings 
like you said, if Jacob brings like the Gigalith, yeah, that's a problem. Like that's a problem. Yep. And even if, like, he couldn't even set up Braviary, nope. Braviary with Trick uh, Tailwind because, I mean, I'm not obviously this is like just tit for tat Pokemon for Pokemon, but Jacob's got a Jolteon, which is also going to outspeed his whole team. Jolteon, Noivern, outspeed Noah's whole team all 10 pokemon besides raichu raichu might outspeed uh raichu might oh, outspeed raichu has is it lightning rod uh raichu doesn't get lightning rod i don't believe oh yes it does yes it does that um be decent in this matchup but not that decent i don't know i just think noivern and scizor literally i'm gonna look up Cerebi really quick and even if you look at gudra like gudra yeah it doesn't outspeed Haxorus, but Gudra is such a special wall that if it got into a, like a fight with Clefable, like it's going to tank a lot of hits, especially if he Dynamaxes Gudra. Like even from Clefable. especially, yeah, that thing is tanky. I see YouTubers are running that right now and stuff. I've seen it on the ladder. I have I have taken a personal break from Pokemon like battling in the last couple days, besides like randoms and like scouting and like prepping because. Like, on ladder, at least, because I just needed, like, a reset. I'm just waiting for the month to reset so I can try to actually put bring a good team on ladder that rather than some niche stuff. I don't know. I don't think no one can... Is that your way of saying you were upset you kept getting hexed? Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I definitely think Jacob... Beats Noah. I think it's going to be close, but I got Jacob over Noah. Let's see. So, to run down the picks for this week, we got Brandon Hello? has Fuku. Hi. Brandon has Fuku. I got myself. Then a Noah versus Justin. He has Justin. I have Noah. Benny versus Blake. We both have. Yeah. Can you hear me? All right. I can hear you, by the way. I'll ping you real quick. I, I can hear you. I'm just running down the end. Uh, I can hear you. Okay. Um, what, can you hear me now? What? Okay. It's the end anyway. So, uh, Justin uh, versus Noah. I got Noah, he's got Justin, Benny versus Blake, we both have Benny, Josh versus Xavier, I have Xavier, he has Josh, him versus Xavier, we both have Brandon, Brandon versus Brian, we both have Brandon, there's no bias going on, I assure you, and then Jacob versus Noah Troyer, we both have Jacob, Brandon, are you still there, or did you cut out somehow? If you cut out, then I'm just going to wrap it up, so that is going to be this episode of the coach's lounge i don't know where brandon went and i can't hear him anymore but i'm dominic and i'll sign off for brandon so peace